let's take a look at how you can utilize your iPad effectively to do research. And there's a few great little tips here that are not only going to help you be more productive, but actually means that you can do your research anytime and anywhere because you're taking full advantage of the mobile tools. So let's just start with organizing the research that we're doing. If I go on to Safari, I've just got a couple of research pages on here that I might have looked at um, and want to document. Now, the first thing is, what if I don't have time to read them straight away? Well, we can simply just start to think about some of the additional tools on the device that enable me to create reading lists for myself. If I just simply tap on the share icon at the top, you'll see that it gives me a whole list of ways that I can document this. If it's something I know I'm going to use all the time, I may add it to the home screen. Or I might add it to my reading list, knowing that I want to read it later. Let's go ahead and look at what that does. If I tap on Add to Reading List, it looks like it disappears from my screen. But if I tap on the icon in the top left corner instead, I can see that reading list. And you'll notice there that that top article is one that I have saved. Equally, if I want to add that to my home screen, because I know it's something I'm going to use a lot, if I simply tap on Add to Home Screen, it gives me the option to edit what I want that to be called. So I could just call this Research Article. And when I tap Add, that creates a tab on my home screen, which is an instant link to that website. So again, if there are research pages that you go to all the time, that can be an easy way to organize that on your device. Now, finally, you might want to bookmark them. You might not want it on your home screen all the time, so you might want to simply add it as a bookmark. So now I go to that share icon again, and if I scroll down, you'll see it gives me additional options to add this as a bookmark. Now, I might not want to always add this to my home screen. I might want to add this as a bookmark. So if I tap on that share icon again, you'll notice we also have that option to add bookmark. I can simply tap on that. And now it's going to give me some additional options. Again, I can change the title of that bookmark, but I can also change its location. Where mine currently says science, I can add new folders into this to change where I want to be able to find those and really organize how you document all of your research into one place. In this case, let's put that into the master's research and then tap save. So now I can find that if I go to my bookmarks, I'll be able to find that master's research folder. Here it is towards the bottom. And then all of those articles are kept there, including that one we've just added in. And if I need to edit anything, again, edit at the bottom and you can remove things or change the order so that you can find the, uh, the notes that you need to find when you need them. Okay, so staying on this research idea, how can we support our research within the document itself? Well, again, there's a few ways that we can do this. The first way is to simply take a screenshot of the website that you're on by choosing the two physical buttons. You'll notice that takes a screenshot that I can now tap. And rather than just having a single shot of what was on the page, I can change that to full page mode and now I get those markup tools again that we've seen in other videos and full access to the whole document. And now I can use those markup tools along with an Apple Pencil or a stylus to just highlight those things that I want to focus on. And you'll notice as I scroll through, they sit on the text that you've just highlighted. So again, the same as doing this with any articles, but saving you having to print those out and then storing them as paper. And again, once you're done, if you simply tap done, gives you the option to save the PDF to files. And again, that's going to give you the option to save this onto your device. Now, one thing to highlight here, similar to organizing those bookmarks, is you're going to need to think about your folder options. And here you can see that within iCloud, I've got some folders already set up. And if I want to create a new one, that's is just around research, I can tap on the new folder icon, create a new folder, tap done. You'll notice that gives me that research folder and I can simply tap save and it's going to save that PDF for me in that folder. Now that's one way to do the research directly onto the device. Another way is with the update to iPad OS 15, we can also use Quick Notes. And Quick Notes works by just scrolling up from the bottom right corner of your device, bringing you a note on your page. 
If I tap New Note, I can remove the keyboard down. And now I can see that text behind and make my notes on the page at the same time. Now what's also really good about this is it will also pick up the title of that website that you're on. Let me show you that on a different tab. So I'm gonna start this tab. So here's a, a document that I might be doing some research on. This is a PDF. And if I swipe up from that bottom right corner and I start a new note, you'll see that it's got that add link option at the top. Now that's picked up the website that I'm on. And if I tap on add link, it instantly captures that within the note. And then I can continue to make my notes down here thinking about the different ways that I might want to interact with it. Again, either using the pen tool to be able to write directly on my notes or using the, the typing function as well if you need to. And again, those notes can all then be found in the notes application on your device. And you'll notice at the top, there's a new one called Quick Notes. And here's all those notes that I was just taking and you can go into them in full view and have a look at everything that you've done. Now the final thing to highlight here is around our organisation and we mentioned this before when we were saving our PDF with the annotated websites. If I go onto the Files app on my device, you'll notice again you have full access to all of your cloud storage as well as things stored on your device. You'll notice on the left hand side that I have my iCloud Drive as well as OneDrive and equally I could have my Google Drive on here. But we also then have tags along the bottom. And tags are a great way to help you keep things organized on your device. Now, if you haven't tagged anything yet, simply highlight by holding on the device on the, the uh, document, tap on tags. You'll see that you have those standard tags in terms of colors, but you can add new tags as well. I might just say, this is gonna be research. Choose the color that I want it to be and tap done. And now that's gonna instantly tag that on there. I can choose any other documents and now simply tag those as research as well. And you'll notice on the left hand side, I now have a new tag which says research that if I simply tap that, all of those saved documents that I might have will show up because I've tagged them under that same area. So there we go, brief introduction to just helping you get organized on your device when it comes to doing research and documenting all of that great new learning that you're doing.